Hi there, Karen Roby here for ZDNet talking today about Apple uh, activating a software lock for their batteries. Adrian Kingsley Hughes is updating this uh, for us today here. Adrian, just tell us what Apple's rolling out here. So the newer crop of iPhones, the iPhone XS, the iPhone XR, and the iPhone XS Max, it's been discovered that Apple's activated a dormant software lock within the system. So basically, if somebody has a battery replaced by Apple or by a by an authorized service provider, everything's great. But if somebody else replaces the battery, there's a message in the settings that says service and that the battery's state can't be determined and it might not be a genuine battery. So that could scare some people into trying to diagnose problems that don't exist. Okay, and Adrian, does this feel like Apple is being anti-consumer a bit or you think something else? Well, it's always going to be seen as Apple being anti-consumer because at the end of the day, anytime Apple does anything that can be interpreted as you can't do what you want to do with the thing that you bought or anything that kind of encourages people to go to Apple for service, it's always going to be seen as Apple trying to lock people into their ecosystem. But there could be benefits to this as well because there are an awful lot of poor quality third-party batteries out there that people can be sticking in iPhones that could catch fire, could explode. Apple gets the blame for that. The other thing I've seen is that places like eBay are awash with tools that will allow you to actually reset the recharge counter in batteries. And I've actually come across quite a few people who said they've had old secondhand batteries fitted into their iPhones by unscrupulous repair places. And so you know, and on one hand, Apple could be kind of doing something that people see as well, you can't repair the thing that you own. But on the other hand, there could be some benefit to people to this, to stop them being sold something that is not as good as they thought it was. All right, and Adrian, uh, it's kind of a broad question here, but how big of a problem do we think, or Apple thinks, uh, that there is with third parties popping up, potentially selling or installing uh, faulty products? This seems to be a bigger problem in the Chinese market where you can go into places like Shenzhen and you can go into one of dozens, hundreds of places to have your battery replaced. And since Apple is putting bigger and bigger push into China, that could actually be why this is being done. Um, it could also be that it's just one of those pushes that Apple does. Apple's done this with screen replacements in the past. Apple's done this with Touch ID replacements in the past where components actually need to be activated and authorized by the system. And that requires a tool by Apple, which nobody else has access to. And these things put third-party repairers into a bit of a bind when it comes to making repairs. Who knows what, why Apple's done this? Is you know you, you can never get in an insight into Apple. If there's enough screams over this, Apple will probably do something that reverses it. The good news is is that even with this message, the battery seems to work fine. Testing seems to suggest it doesn't make any difference. Testing also seems to suggest that it's all the safeties for the battery are in place. So there's really no danger. It is really just a way of informing people this has not been done by Apple or an authorized Apple service center. And maybe what we'll see is after the outcry has have, have, just faded into an echo, that Apple maybe will change the messaging that is in the settings app over this to actually make it seem like it's not a problem. It's just your battery's been replaced by somebody other than Apple on your head, be it if something goes wrong with it. All right, Adrian, we appreciate the update on this for us. If you'd like to learn more about Adrian's story and Apple's activating this new software lock, make sure you check out CDNet.